हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा माता जी hari bol hari bol so since we are doing art class you will not be able to see me uh, you will be see seeing only my paper mm, so that we can focus more on the art today so i'm going to wait for a few minutes while other kids will join here and wish you all a very happy new year this is the first time we are meeting in 2021 Mataji, what are the materials we need to use? Uh, so we are uh, just doing the sketching. I am planning to do this painting today. You, uh, I hope you all can see my screen. So I was thinking, what would be better to start with Krishna's favorite cow in this new year? So we will be doing the sketching today, and I am planning this time because every time when we do class, we do just one thing, and next time when we meet next month, we. Uh, i will start something new so th this time i'm thinking uh, we will be sketching uh, the cow today and next class we will be painting it so we will have one month time to get ready with the supplies um, uh, like uh, somebody can do it with markers if somebody wants to do it with acrylics or if somebody wants to do it with watercolors whatever they want to use uh, they can use to paint this paint uh, this picture I guess uh, Samrutha, you have any question? I see your hand raised. This electronic hand raised. Do you yes, have any? I just wanted to ask about the materials. Materials. So today only we are sketching. Uh, you can use any rough paper, printer paper, any sketchbook if you have, because this is going to be rough today. Once you do enough practice on this, uh, we will be focusing only on one cow because we first want to understand how to uh, draw the cow. I will be doing only one cow, but you can decide on your main project, on your main canvas or paper, whatever you decide, uh, whether you want to do one cow or these four cows there. And that's all up to you. So today we just need one paper where we are practicing and we are understanding how to sketch this cow. So just pencil, paper, and a good eraser. Hey, Krishna Mata Ji. Hari Bol. Um, this is Mukund. I just have a question. Yeah, Mukund. What are the red handprints? Uh, what do they resemble on the cows? To be honest, I don't know, Mukund. What do they resemble? Maybe Anshna Mataji can tell, or um, any other Mataji who are there in the call. If they know, they can tell that. Yes, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Hello, Krishna. Hari Bol, Mukund. So all right. So I think uh, we have enough students here, and uh, we will begin the class with a small prayer. ओम ज्ञान तिमरंदस ज्ञान अंजना शलाकिया चक्षुरुन मिलितमिनेन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमो श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टं स्थापितं येन भूलतर स्वयं रूपं खदानयम ददाति स्वपदांतिकं वाञ्छकल्पं रूपस्य कृपासिन्धु दयायेच पतितनां पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदगुरु भक्ति वृंद हरि कृष्ण हरि कृष्ण 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 हरि 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 राम हरि राम हरिकृष्णरी but anything is fine if you are doing one cow if you decide to do one cow you can also do it vertically but if you choose to do more than one you can do it horizontally so since we are focusing only on one cow i will do this vertically on my paper i hope the lighting is fine okay so to begin with this uh, let's first understand what are the different shapes that we can observe in this cow what i see here the body is more like a big 
rectangle shape here. The head I feel is more like a triangle. Just one second, I'll just increase the lighting here. So I, I think we can see this better now. So yes, as I mentioned, this is uh, the body is more like a rectangle and head is more like a, a triangle kind of a shape. So these are the main shapes that I see. So first, we when we uh, start to draw something, we do not start by adding the details uh, too soon. First, we will just look at the basic shapes and then we will start. Uh, sketching that. So when I'm explaining to you, I don't want you to draw parallelly with me. I will explain. You can just take your time, look at the screen, understand what I'm doing, and then I will give you time to draw the same thing on your paper. So now I'm starting. Uh, first, I'm doing my rectangle here. Uh, first, you will decide like how big you want. Like this is the size of my paper, and uh, I would want. Since I'm doing only one cow, I'm not doing too many. So I would like to occupy this much space with my cow, right? I want my cow to be around this big so that it can cover my paper. Like I don't want too small or way too big. So medium size. So I'm doing my first rectangle here. You don't draw that on your paper yet, okay? I will tell you when you should be starting. And then what I see on top of this rectangle, on this corner, the head is on one of the corner of this rectangle. Okay. Then I'm going to place my triangle head here. Now what I need, I need legs. I want to put the right positioning for the legs too. Um, when, when I'm doing this, I feel that the body looks bigger than the head. My triangle looks a little smaller in comparison to the body. And I would like to increase the size of my triangle here. I will still repeat that don't draw on your paper anything yet. Don't, don't do anything on your paper. Do it very roughly right now. You don't have to press too much pressure on the pencil. Do not stress too much on getting the perfect rectangle or anything perfect uh, yet. Now I am trying to do my legs. So I have to see how the legs are going. This looks like a slant uh, line. There are two angles in this line. Uh, other leg is here and uh, there are angle. This egg leg has also an angle. So I'm going to add some reference for that. And my markings would be there. So I see my first leg is something like this. Other uh, leg which is coming from behind has this kind of angle. My third leg is somewhat like this. So when you're doing your legs, you also want to make sure that both these legs, uh, this one, the front legs here, like front from our side, they are in one plane. You will stop them in one line. And then There is one there. Okay, so this is my positioning. Now, do I feel do I feel that uh, the proportions are looking okay? The uh, body, the head, and the leg sizes they they are they looking in proportion. Sometimes it can happen that you end up making a very big triangle or very small rectangle. They might not look like in right proportion. So right now, uh, as I see this, they. Uh, everything does look in proportion to me. So this is what you are going to do on your paper first. So I will stop here and then you all can start doing it now on your paper. Once you are done, you let me know that uh, you are done. And then if I need to look at your paper, I will take a look. Mataji, can you turn the video on again? Yes, Mataji. Sorry, uh, yeah, I accidentally got turned off.
if you happen to have another device where you can look at the image also in the reference image it's good idea that you keep your reference image in front of you you take a look at the reference image while you're drawing and keep comparing whether you're doing it uh, as per your reference And try to do everything with very light hand, with very soft pencil, uh, like do not make very dark lines. All right, Bhavya. Anybody who is done and would like to show me your work, you can show me. Okay, that looks good, Asra. Krishna Chaitanya, can you bring it a little more closer? That looks good. Uh, Krishna, uh, Krishna Chaitanya, I would say your uh, the triangle part looks a little smaller as compared to the rectangle. So maybe you would like to make the head a little bigger. Shreya, I'm looking at your screen now. Uh, that looks good, Shreya. Nice. Anyone else who would like to show me their work? If you can just tell me quickly whether you're done, not done, I know when to move on to next step. Not done yet, Master. Okay. Krishna Chaitanya, I'm looking at your picture on uh, your screen again and I feel it can get slightly more bigger. Though it's fine, uh, we can still fix it in the next step also. Kanchan, I'm looking at your screen now. Uh, Krishna, you, it was okay. If you want, you can make your triangle a little, little more bigger. Kanchan, it looks okay in proportion to me. Sure, who? Okay, Smaruta, uh, for you also, uh, the triangle is a little smaller. Yes. Yeah? I, even I'm just noticing that now. Yes, so you can make it bigger. And this is the reason why we do not add too many details in the beginning because we end up uh, getting wrong proportions when we start sketching. Uh, Krishna, it looks good now. I see there are some other students. Anybody else who would like to show me their work? Garima, Shreya. Is there anyone who is not done yet? Okay. Um, since I don't hear anyone saying no, I assume everyone is done and then I move on to my next step. So Mom, my next step is once more. Sure. Looks good. Yes, this is nice. Good. We just want very uh, vague markings in the beginning. We don't want to be too perfect. We can anyways adjust if there are some corrections needed. Okay, so my next step. So let's look at the uh, things that uh, we feel that would be needed here. I do feel that there would be this neckline which is starting here and it's going all the way to the leg. Okay, somewhere here and it's going all the way to the leg don't start doing anything yet on your paper i will again give you time and then for the body as we see there are two bumps here right one is here and another one is here so what i'm going to do in order to create that i'm creating one circle here i'm doing it very close to the triangle part because this is the uh, this bump is very close to the neck the first bump here 
so i'm doing it really close up here and then then i'm doing another one here these are overlapping circles and then based on this i will start shaping up my line as per the reference like this you all may start now and i will just stop here for now Once you are done, please let me know. Asra. Uh, yes, Asra, I'm looking at your screen. And uh, Asra, when we are doing this line, this is from the neck. You, It's not from the starting point of your triangle. It's somewhere in the middle or like little bit. You're leaving a little bit space in the front here from your triangle. Okay, Mataji, thank you. Mataji, I'm showing you mine. Yes, Shreya, this looks good. Good, nice, Shreya. Krishna Chaitanya, I'm looking at your screen. Uh, Krishna Chaitanya, the second circle that you made, you can make it all the way to the back. So this will help us to define the back curve of the cow also. Instead of just keeping that line there uh, on the end of the cow, you can make the circle a little bigger. Kanchan, for you also, make your uh, circle bigger uh, so that it can cover the entire uh, rectangle. Like two circles should cover the entire rectangle. We are doing this circle so that we can define our curves easily. Anyone else who would like to show me their work? Mataji, mm my. -hmm. Yes, this looks good. Um, let me look at the reference one more time. Okay, Bhavya. So is there anyone who needs more time? A few, uh, one, uh, a little more time. I need a little more time.
Okay, Krishna. Looks good. Yes, better. I would still say that your uh, last circle, you can still make it bigger. So why we are doing this, let's first understand that. By, if we have to do these curves without the circles, we might not be able to achieve it um, as desired. But once we have the circle, it's much easier to achieve those curves that we see here. So in, whatever the line you have, Krishna, here, um, if you can cover that line and make your circle a little bigger there, you will be able to bring your curves much more easily. So I still see that line is there. You can cover that with circle. All right, so Krishna, yes, Krishna, this is much better. Yes, so that's nice. Is there anyone who needs more time or I can move on to next step? Kanchan, that's nice. All right, so now I'm moving on to my next step. After doing this, now I will look at the face. So for the face, what I see there are actually, you know, on the face also we have more curves, like this is a curve and another curve. I feel this is more like one bigger circle here. And then a smaller circle for the mouth on this part. Once I have these two circles, here, I will start defining the shape. See, since I made my circle here, it's so easy uh, to bring this curve now. Like this, you will start defining uh, other curves. So uh, maybe I'll stop here. You finish the face. I will add ear also. You all can start parallelly with me. How many of you have acrylic paints or some canvas or uh, acrylic paper with you? Uh, I have it, Mataji. I have a canvas and acrylic paper. Okay. Mataji, I have acrylic paint and paper. Okay. I have acrylic paint, but I don't have paper, but I can purchase Do you have canvas? Um, no, Mataji. Okay. Will we be doing it today? Or? No, not today, next week. Today we will not get time to do both the things with sketching. Then I will purchase some. Okay. So I'm planning to do this with acrylic paint next uh, week. Not next week, sorry, next month. I'm adding my ear and uh, when I'm adding my ear here, I see that it's very close to the neck and then a good part of head is remaining and then the ears start. So it's somewhere here and it's in a straight line. So I'm adding it here. you can start adding your details along with your head. If anybody wants to show me the picture of the head that you just drew, you can show me.
and don't make your lines uh, too dark yet because we might not achieve the right proportions even at this stage so keep it light i am making it slowly darker so that there are so many lines and i don't want you to get confused in order to avoid that i'm making darker lines as i'm moving with my steps Madhuji, how did you make the ears? Okay, I'm going to repeat that. So were you able to bring out the head? This is this is what my head looks like so far. Okay. That's good, Asya. Okay. Maybe just for the... Uh, okay, there are a few things that I would like to tell you all here. Um, after especially looking at Asya's picture. So sometimes some few things while drawing or sketching, they seem like curved or uh, um, at an angle to us, but they are actually very straight. So I'll tell you what are the lines. So if you look at the mouth here, this line that divides the upper and lower part of the mouth here, you see it's more like a flat line. It's more like a flat line, but we might end up making it too curved and going up, but it's in a sleeping position. Even the lower line of the face here, it's a flat line, you see? It's a parallel, parallel to the bottom of the paper. It's a flat sleeping line, and we might end up making it slant again. Now, this line for the neck here, you see, again, this is again a very straight line and then slowly getting curved, but we might end up making it at an angle and way too slant. So this is a straight line coming down and then the angle is coming here. So this is what I did here. Again, I will show this is a flat line. This is a flat line. And this line, as I was mentioning, it's straight. It's a straight line, I'll show in proportion to my entire paper. Okay, this is a straight line and then it's getting curved in here. Too many lines, I'll fix that. Straight, straight line and then slowly you make it curve. Now I will move on to the ear part. So ear, as I mentioned, is actually in the middle part of this entire shape like my head is here and neck is here if you look at this entire length my ear is almost in the middle of this and very close to the neck we might end up making it too high or up there and it's a sleeping line like this and i'm looking at my reference and keeping this shape around my center line so that's my ear you all can start now. Anybody who wants to show me their work can show me. Mataji, um, is the face correct? Who is asking that? Samrita. Okay, Samrita. Um, for the face, the... Um, the front part of the face, Amrita, I feel that your circle can get slightly more bigger there. This part can get a little more bigger. Apart from that, everything okay. looks everything else looks okay. Asra, uh, your okay. screen. I can look at your screen, Asra. This looks nice, Asra. So your line here is going slant in like this. Yes. It's more straight line and then it's going inside. Oh, oh. Okay. If we so desire, I want to make my ears a little bigger. Is sure. that okay? Or do we have to? Okay. Yes, sure. Shreya and uh, Krishna, I'm looking at your screen. Uh, looks fine. Somehow, Krishna, I'm feeling this entire line is going upwards. I'm not sure because sometimes so because of the camera, I see it that way. Uh, looks fine. Yes. 
Mm, Shreya, I feel the ears are a little smaller in your case, and even the mouth part can get this part can get a little more taller here. This entire line. Okay, Kanchan, I'm looking at your. This part can get a little bigger, Kanchan. Uh, look, look at the uh, size here, the height here. Your this part is smaller, and this line is more flat, more flat. Okay, Kanchan? Yes, Mataji. Okay, everything else looks good. Mataji, does this neck look better now? Yes, Asra. Is everyone done? Mataji, can you take a look again? If sure. You might see. Sure. This is good, Samudha. Just one slight change that I will advise you. If you look at the mouth, you see the upper part is more protruding than the lower part. It's more outside and lower part is a bit inside. For you, it's coming in the same line. So that slight change will bring out the shape of cow face. Okay, Madhuji. So it has to come a bit more top. The top one has to be a little more protruding, yes. Okay. Coming out and the... The lower one is a little smaller and uh, it's behind the upper part. Okay, Mataji. They're not in one same line. Bhavya, I'm looking at your work and it looks very nice. Thank you, hmm. Maybe, Bhavya, this part can get a bit uh, bigger. Uh, I just felt that while you were turning off your camera. Shreya uh, looks nice, Shreya. Shreya, this line, uh, your this line is coming a bit like this. It is straight down. It's slightly slant up here. So just straight down and it will improve the look. Were you able to figure out what I'm saying? Yes, Mataji. Yeah, I can tell you one more time. Right now on your paper, it's more like this. Okay, instead of making it like this, it's straight line which is coming down. Okay. Okay. So I think we are almost there. It does look like a cow. Okay, shall I move on to the next step now? Yes, ma'am. All right. Mataji, look better. Yes, Kanchan, I could see your work and yes, it is better. All right. So now I'm moving on to my next step. Uh, now we will start uh, making the legs. Uh, let's look at the reference image first. If you look here, there is a curve and then this leg, the slant leg is coming out. We do have this circle already here for us. I will keep this line as the center line of the leg and I will do my legs around that. If you need to feel, if you feel the need of making it bigger at this stage, you do so. Like I feel my legs can get a little more taller. Okay, wherever your neckline is stopping, it's, it's actually, let me take a look at the reference image again. Okay, your neckline and this curve are very close to each other. Look at this. Take care of that while you're doing this. Okay. 
and make use of your observation also uh, keep looking at the reference image too now in i think someone is not on mute i'm not sure who who Now you may all start looking at the legs in the reference image. I will tell you the areas where you need to pay attention to. So you will keep this as your center line and you will do your legs around that. You all can start. Again, if you are making your legs taller as I made, then the original lines, then make sure you draw this flat line again, the sleeping line again, to make sure your legs are stopping at one. Plane. Yes, Asra. Good. Asra, I feel the ears can get a little more bigger. Okay. Mataji, I feel like something is wrong with my leg as well. Yes, it it's, it's not wide enough here. It's very narrow. It's slowly getting wider on the top here. This part is has to be a little more wider. Okay, Mataji. Okay. Krishna Chaitanya. Uh, okay, the neckline and the curve for your first leg here, they are very close to each other if you look at the reference image. So your neckline is going way too down, all the way there. It has to be somewhere here near that curve. So first you fix that, Krishna. Asra, uh, that has to be a gradual change rather than a sudden jump to wideness. Like it's gradually getting wider. Like for you right now, it's like this. I'll show you. For you, it's going like this and then suddenly a bump, uh, like there is sudden change in the width. Rather, it's more gradual. the line itself it's one straight line like this Mataji, i have a little doubt um my head has been stick out a more so uh, just a second so this part is a bit more bigger than usual i don't know how to correct it okay you just have to first you bring that bump very close to the neck your bump is right here right now okay you bring it closer okay. you bring it closer uh, to the neck and it's a, uh, it's a less deep curve you see okay. this then this bump is smaller than the bump in the back no, I should correct my circles, is it? Uh, it's okay. You don't have to trace your circles exactly. You can bring that shape uh, without the circle also. You bring this bump okay. closer and smaller. In your case, uh, it's just the opposite. Your 
back bump is smaller and lower okay the front bump is higher and wider but it has to be opposite the front one has to be smaller and less wide and the back one is much wider okay mataji okay, okay. Uh, krishna chaitanya i can look at your work uh, for your leg also krishna chaitanya if you see it's a slow uh, uh, like it's a straight line only there it's not a curved line but it's getting wider as you go up this space is getting wider so in your case it was it was still thin Did did you understand that, Krishna? Yes. Okay. Okay. As I cannot see the entire page. If you are showing me that, Shreya. Yes, Shreya. Good. Nice. Shreya, you need to fix the ear. Uh. and this this curve is not connected with the back i'll just quickly show you this curve is just right here it's not connected here so don't make make that connection okay mataji okay mataji can you describe how to make the back leg i don't think i saw what you were doing with the back of the body this one yes Okay, let me just bring these two curves. Krishna, you can also pay attention here. Uh, this was the neck, and then as soon as my neck is ending, I'm bringing this small bump here, and then it's getting deep, and then again a wider bump. And the back is a uh, simple; it it just a just a curve. Don't make it too deep like that, like not a deep curve. Again. when you look at the curve is more in the straight line this curve you can also draw for yours for yourself you can draw that straight line you remember we had the straight line in the beginning the rectangle one and then you bring that curve so that's how it is how do you draw the leg mata ji the back leg Shreya, for your back leg, you you're asking that question, right, Shreya? This is Ashra, Mata. Ashra, okay. Uh, yeah, Shreya, your back leg looks good. Maybe instead of making it straight, you can make it slant, slightly slant. I think it is more straight in the picture. Mine is slant. So the thickness has to be same for both the legs. So Ashra, your back leg is less. Uh, it's very thin. Aster, if you look at, uh, if you can show me your uh, screen, I can advise you how to fix that. Okay, you haven't done that, so I'm yeah, going to, I'm going to erase it. Those who did not see the back leg, okay. So we had this curve here, and we had this line for the leg. So now. keeping my line as center line so what you have to pay attention first of all this curve this width here okay and look at the gap between first leg and this line there is a huge gap here so make sure you're bringing a nice gap between those two lines keeping keeping the line that you made initially as your center line and you can start doing your leg around that you have to do leg more with your observation than with the method did that help us yes ma'am
Are we ready for the third leg? Not yet, Mataji. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Okay, Shreya, looks good, very nice. Uh, Shreya, you have to just pay attention to this area, which looks a little off. Kanchan, for you also, I would say, uh, Shreya and Kanchan both. Uh, uh, Shreya, you have to pay attention to this curve also. And mouth part, you both need to work on the mouth. Um, as I said, this center line, both of you are taking the center line up. It's more flat than going up. You both have your line going up like this. Once you make it flat here in the middle, you will be able to achieve the rest of the proportions nicely. I'm redoing it on my paper so that you can see what I'm talking about. Cow uh, sketching is a little tricky. No, Krishna. Krishna, for you also, this center line is going up for you. So look at this, everyone, those who have a problem with the face. This is a straight line. This part is bigger, the upper part. And again, I, as I said, this is a flat line rather than going up. Many of you have made it going up. It's, you made it as a slant line. It's not a slant line. It's a flat sleeping line here. It goes up and like this. This part is not in the same line and also smaller. Again, flat line. This is like this. So if you will do it like this, you will be able to achieve that cow looking face. Sometimes if we try to do cow, it will look like deer because of the ear shape. Okay, Garima. Garima, your head is very small. Um, uh, you are able to achieve uh, nice proportions. Garima, then the neck part. Neck has to stop right here when your leg starts not down there okay this curve that you're making here has to stop here and then the bumps that you made on the cow back this this bump is very this bump has to be very small and this bump has to be wider and bigger okay garima okay Gee, how is this leg? I still don't think something is yeah. right. This is good, Astra. Okay. Only, only this curve can get a little more deeper. This part. Okay. Can, okay. Uh, you can still make little more corrections. Even I can improve this. And cow is one of the. Uh, Tricky sketch. It's not very straightforward. It has a lot of different curves in different alignment. But once you are able to do this, you will be able to do many more drawings with much ease. That is easy good now. Very, yes. Asra good. Shreya, yes. Mataji, the back design, is it supposed to be a little more wider? Yeah, more, more curved. Mm -hmm. 
asra this part of the leg uh, this length okay is very short and most of the part is covered by this this length is very short it's most part is covered in this so you can make it more wider yes it's good that you're showing me your screen so that i can uh, figure out what is the trouble area once you start once you all start adding the ornaments to your cow it will start looking beautiful i know it doesn't look that beautiful yet matachi like this or yes yes that's right you see this looks a lot better now okay but your front leg length is much uh, i feel it's much taller than the back one do you have the straight line here i do but i don't think it's no uh, yeah it's i have to change that okay so we have just few minutes left we can go over time little bit i assume but uh, we don't want to take too much time uh like we don't want to go over time too much like maybe another 5 10 minutes are okay so i'm going to uh do rest of the details here i'm going to do third leg now i feel that uh there is again little bump here and then i'm going to add my third leg third leg uh, leg length is not as same not same as uh, the these two legs so it's going to be little shorter and i am going to stop it right here Okay, now the fourth leg. Fourth leg is going to come in alignment with this part. you all can look at this so i'm going to do my fourth leg here you always have to see the starting and the ending point of your sketch like whatever line or curves you are doing you have to check where is it starting and where is it stopping again this is a flat line here also check the width of each leg they all should look uh of same width the width has to be same and then last i'm adding the tail here tail is again this straight line and then slight curve like this and then i'm connecting the back with tail so whenever you are making something with double lines try to create a center line for that first and then create your curves or lines around that
look at this line when you are doing your fourth leg please check this line so that you know what is the starting point of your fourth leg you have to do your fourth leg around this point you have to bring this from your third leg here or second leg Now, while you are uh, all are working on your cow details, uh, I will start adding the ornaments here. I think that's easy. Uh, we don't need any guidelines for that. You all should be. We, we wanted the method and the guidelines specifically for the proportions of the cow. The rest of the details are with observation. I'm adding all the decorations now. Since we don't have too much time left, um, I will do everything in one go. Mataji, can you show how do you draw the horns? Okay, sure. I will show you on this paper. So you have your ears ready. Your head ready like this so what you're doing your horn is if you cannot get the right curves what you actually do you make it more linear so first see how the horns are going it's going this this and this that's the shape of your horn i'm doing the other one also right here it's straight up this and this this is how the horn shape is. So once you make this linear, you will be able to bring your shape around it. So now I'm bringing my actual shape around this linear marking. Did you get that? Did you understand that? Yes. Yeah. So, um, any curve that you are not able to understand or you're not able to copy, you check uh, the angles of uh, that curve. So let me explain you again here for the horn. Look, it is this one, the back one. It's going straight up, then it's, then it's turning towards right, and then it's going straight up. So you bring all the linear uh, shape. I made that into lines and then you make your shape around it. So I'm doing the other one now. Okay. 
that makes your work so much easy Mataji, I'm having problem with the leg. For some reason, I can't get it right. Can you show me? Is it Asra? Yes, Mataji. Okay, Asra, this, this one is a sleeping line again. It's not a slant line. Okay. Are you struggling with this leg? No, yeah, I don't know how, why it's not like long enough. Show me. Then only I'll be able to. I made it up to here, but I know it's supposed to be up to here. Not really. Not really. Um, okay, Asra, first you have to bring this line. You have to draw this line first, this sleeping line, and then you bring this angle. You look at this shape. This is more like a letter inverted letter V, not even inverted at an angle. Straight line and then this. And then you start doing your other uh, shape after that. So if I can look at your camera while you, I look at your paper while you're doing that. So erase both the lines, the top line also, yes. And my advice for all of you, don't use the eraser, which is on the back of your pencils. Those are not really um, very good eraser most of the time. Okay, this is your first line, Asra, what you just did. This is the inner, inner line, yes. Now the other one is a slant. This line, this line has to be a little bit more taller, I would say. This length has to be a little bit taller, and this one is at, uh, This one is a slant line. The other one is a slant line. Make this little more taller. Taller, like this way. Make this this length little bigger. Little more bigger. Mataji, can you hear? Yes, who is that? Uh, I'm from India, Andhra Pradesh. Actually, uh, I'm new to this group. It is said that Bhakti Sangha. Uh, so, uh, uh, which is con are you from? I am from US, uh, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, 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 are you saying uh, drawing classes every day? Not, not every day, Hasini. We, I'm doing it once in a month. Okay. Mataji, uh, can I get your phone number? Actually, I'm interested in drawing. That's Okay. Maybe you can contact after the class, Anjuna Mataji, and then we can get more details, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm new to this. All right. Welcome to the group to our Sadhu Sangha here. There's so many great Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis who join this group. So many things you can learn from here. So many senior Vaishnavas. Yes, you're doing that right, Asra. Anyone else, while Asra is doing that, anyone else who wants to show me their work? Um, Mataji, I'm Shriya, can I show you? Yes. Anyone, uh, Krishna Chaitanya, that's nice. I feel for the size of your head, your ears are big, Krishna Chaitanya. Everything else is good. Very nice. If you make your ears a little smaller, that will look better. Shreya, very nice. Mm, my quick suggestion for you would be, would be actually nothing. <laughs> it's very nice, Shreya. Very nice. Thank Do you. you like it? Yes. Okay. That's nice. Good to know. Kanchanda. Yes. Um, is it good so far, Mataji? Yes, Kanchan. It's good. Mataji, this is what I thought. Who is saying? Who's talking? Asra. 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 Okay. Okay, Asra, as I was telling, this line has to be, your, your this line is only this length. You have to make it a little more taller, like bigger in length. And that is actually, this, this length is stopping you to make it up to this point. Garima, Harry Ball. Very nice, Garima. 
वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड अटेम्प्ट थैंक यू मत जी या कृष्ण चैतन्य दिस इज गुड डिड यू मेक चेंजेस टू द ईयर कृष्ण यस माता जी ओके आई समहाउ फील इट्स स्टिल बिगर uh okay can you bring it little more closer to the screen okay this looks nice um uh, krishna your first year is bigger and the second year has to be smaller than the first one you made it little opposite that's why i was uh, uh looking it little differently it was looking little different so your the the back one the ear which is in the back has to be little bit smaller than the front one okay 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 that's the only change that you need to do Master is going good, so hmm, I will quickly finish all the details here. I uh, let me see what else is pending. So this was just a rough practice for all of us. If we do it one more time. we will be able to definitely able to make it better on our actual canvas S preserve the paper on which you did your uh, drawing today if you all have any tracing paper or uh, something to trace with that would be nice if not we will discuss uh, in next class how to take this drawing onto your canvas or to your other paper and then from there if you can redraw that reproduce the same thing on your canvas that would be wonderful if not uh we can use a tracer to trace our this drawing to the canvas uh, and we will start painting so did someone Mata ask Ji, uh, what size canvas should we get any size is fine that is up to you any any size if you want to make it very small uh if it is very small then it is difficult to paint i would say so minimum 8 by 8 canvas size then uh, otherwise 8 by 10 10 by 10 if it is too big it takes too much time to finish the painting so i would say moderately 8 by 10 or 10 by 10 or 9 by 12 these sizes are good if you Mata take ji? very small size yes mm -hmm. um, this is like my canvas compared to the a4 book is that okay yes This is good. Mata ji. Yes. No, is is like uh, this part okay? Because I don't feel it's okay. Okay, if this you do don't feel Garima, if you don't feel this is okay, there are few more changes that you can bring here. You see, um, this part, this line that you made is much taller than the size that you made you made this line very very small and then straight your leg is starting this line is much bigger right yes you, yes you, in your case you made this line very very small and also the back side of uh, the leg garima you see there are many different angles or bumps there it's not just one straight line so if you take closer attention you will be able to bring that okay Okay, so right now the area where you are struggling is this length if you will fix this uh, you will be able to see rest of the details easily bhavya for you also you have to focus on this part bhavya this is getting slightly wrong and your body is looking because of that your body is looking very um, tall here like width is looking too wide because of that so you have to just focus on this line even i have few corrections to be done on this honestly which i'll do after the class ma to ji is this like how it's supposed to look or still there's something okay this is where you are struggling as you yeah. this is where you are struggling you don't have to bring curve just see curves are tricky one line and another line just make it like this Okay. Oh, okay. These are lines. These are not curves. So see this as a line only. Okay, make it linear first, okay. and then start building your curves around that. Okay. Right. When you start seeing everything more in lines, Mata. then it becomes easier. Yes. Who was asking question? It's me, Shreya. Yes, Shreya. Are we gonna draw the hand? uh that's during the painting 
yeah we don't have to draw them oh. right now when we do it on a canvas or on a different piece of paper that time while coloring we can take care of that okay ma'am okay it's optional like right now i'm not paying attention there i'm assuming that's easy so you should be able to add those details uh, on your own the basic thing that where we uh, wanted to focus was the proportions of the cow mata ji mhm um i'm struggling with the horn so can i just like make a small mountain on the head you can do that and for the horn you remember how we did here Did you see this step? I wasn't paying much attention, Mata Ji. If you can go over it quickly. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is a sleeping line. This is a slant line, and this is a sleeping line again. That's the angle. So this is what we did here. I'm. repeating it one more time anyone who missed that part earlier can look at this now okay first sleeping line slant line and sleeping line for the other horn also is the same thing it's a standing line slant line and then small standing line you see the shape is already there now i can draw my curves around that does that make it easier yes mata ji okay So this is what I was telling you. If you start focusing on all the curves more in a linear fashion, like more in lines, it takes little practice. But if you do it a couple of times, you will be able to see everything in terms of lines, which makes your curves a lot more easier to observe. Mother, and to see. is this one a little better? Yes, this is better, Azra. So I think it's nine thirty. We went over time fifteen minutes already. uh we will finish the class here if anyone has any quick question you may ask your questions for next class i will just repeat uh, next class we will be doing it on canvas with acrylics you will be needing acrylic paints canvas and some brushes if you do not have the materials for acrylic paints you may choose to do it with marker on paper or with some other coloring medium but we will be doing it with acrylics Mata ji can you show the last leg one this one right here just for one second so i can copy it real quick Yes i will share the picture in the group is that okay asra uh, okay mata ji yes and also mata ji there is a recording i already sent facebook live also mm -hmm. they want to finish the um, picture they can go again and see the picture mata ji will send the youtube video also Yeah, and and also Matiji, ah, uh, if they want to finish next week, we already fix the class. If they want to do early, ah, uh, coloring, we can arrange accordingly. Also, Matiji. Um, okay. Yeah, after next fifteen uh, days, we don't need to go next month if they want. Or if you are, if you are free. Okay, Matiji, we can do that. We can fix the time, and uh, probably we can do it earlier than next month. राइट Okay, Mata Ji. Anyone else? Mata Ji, contact number of yours. Yeah, I will. Hasani. I will send that to you, Hasani. Mata Ji, but you did not have my number, right? So how can you send to me? I will. Uh, I will have to take permission from Anjana Mata Ji if that is okay, Anjana Mata Ji. Mata, what Mata Ji? Uh, Hasni is asking for my contact number. Yes, yes, that's fine. Yes. Okay. Hasni, I will share the details in the group. You can check from there. Okay. Are you Are you in the group? Madhavas uh, group, Hansini. Which Which uh, group? Yeah. 
Ah, uh, one second. I'll share in the chat box, and yes. then uh, I will share question. my uh, Facebook page details. Madhuji, my contact number is given there. Ah, uh, Madhuji, we I try to share your Facebook page, but they were telling it's not working. Is it like that or? No, it's working, Madhuji. I will share that again maybe today. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can share Madhuji in the group only. Other. Kids also they can get, uh, go and see Mathiji. Okay, thank you so much, Mathiji. Uh, so you you in the chat box I'm sharing the our Madhava class group. You can join from there. Okay, this is a WhatsApp group. All the classes information will be there, and you can get Mathiji's uh, information also if you want. Okay, Mataji. So we will end the class here for today. Yes, here, Mataji. Hari Krishna, no. everyone. Hari Bol. Hari Krishna, Hari Bol. Hari Krishna, Mataji. Thank you. Hari Bol. Hari Krishna. Hari Bol. Oh, namo namaha. Thank you so much, Mataji. Hari Krishna, Mataji.